it's my third gig, so uh, Kirk McKenzie, thank you very much for making me feel uncomfortable in front of my uh, Asian and European friends. <laughs> uh, I skinheadism. Uh, <clears throat> now folks, uh, I moved house recently. Now uh, make no mistake, uh, moving house can be a very arduous process, alright? But at least I, I think I learned something from the process. Dealing with real estate agents, okay? Now, I don't dislike them. I don't think they're uh, dishonest or liars. They're just disingenuous, you know? But everything they say, they've got a habit of kind of making it sound a bit more charming than what it actually is, you know what I mean? For example, uh, an old, falling down, dilapidated, uh, neglected house, to them, that's a renovator's delight. <laughs> sound very wonderful and nice. Just like this morning uh, when I was running around the town, I didn't see a bunch of fat people. I saw a bunch of personal trainers, hidden, hidden dreams. <laughs> so I must start employing these kind of tactics in my everyday life, you know what I'm talking? Honey, does my bum look big in this, uh, these jeans? No, it looks like a liposuctionist uh, gold mine. <laughs> Does anyone here know how much liposuction actually costs? Yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> any, any input? Like, you know, I don't care why you know. Because <laughs> for me, for example, I looked it up just because, you know, for the purpose of comedy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it costs up to six and a half thousand dollars to get some fat sucked out of your ass. All right, now, some fat sucked out of like, how much can they do at once? Maybe 500 grams or a kilo? I don't know what's healthy, but I mean, Six and a half thousand dollars to get a little bit of fat sucked out of your eye, that's, that's very steep, you know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> do you know what kind of value that puts on to like each cubic gram of human ass fat? <laughs> that's fucking prime real estate right there, so, you know what I mean? We're doing all working, let's go out and sell our asses. You know what I mean? Money doesn't grow on trees, you damn right, it's growing on my fat ass. <clears throat> I was, uh, walking down the street the other day after my dinner. You know, I still don't make too much money. <laughs> and um, I went past the house that was for sale. And the sign out the front said, uh, charming three bedroom residence comprises spacious living and blah, blah, blah. I thought to myself, they're charming. These guys have used the word charming to describe a, uh, a house. Now riddle me this. How the devil can a house be charming? You know what I mean? What? It says nice complimentary things to you when you come home from work? <laughs> hey, you're looking good. The years have been kind to you, sir. <laughs> come here, come inside me. <laughs> come on, house. You're going to have to do better than that. You want to charm me? Better have some dinner cooked or something. Because the way to a man's heart is definitely through his stomach. All right? It's, the old saying is true. The only problem with that, though, is that there's two ways to the stomach. There's delicious food. Well, straight out the bum. Help a white dude. Now, ladies, that's that's kind of a relief for you because if you're no good in the kitchen, you've got no kitchen skills, you've got that option. It's a shitty option nonetheless. <laughs> that was a pun you intended this. Uh, but you know, guys, you, you guys gotta be careful because you know, we're out there, we're trying to meet ladies, hey, how you doing? You're hitting it off. Hey, do you wanna come back to my place for dinner sometime? Yeah, I'd love to come back to your place for dinner. And you walk up to her place for dinner. You're all excited. Hey, what's for dinner? What are we having? What are we having? Oh, dinner, yeah. The thing about that is. <laughs> it's on backwards, but uh, I really don't much of a cook. <laughs> it's just some kind of real estate bitch who's going to be like, I'm going to require access to the rear entry, sir. It's not charming. It's not charming at all. Well, I think there was a bit of a misunderstanding here. Look at that. See what I've done? <laughs> With my nerves. I feel like that guy from a uh, scary movie. <laughs> you know, fucked up hand. <sighs> anyway, so yeah. So we gotta be careful because you know, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna happen. Bit of a misunderstanding here, lady. When I asked for your digit, your digits, this is not what I meant. Uh, <laughs> very nervous. I fucked up that one good. Yeah. <laughs> Digits. <laughs> I, had a, uh, I had a friend of mine over for dinner last week actually. I cooked. I cooked. There was no digital incisions going on there. Or that. But uh, after dinner, 
Uh, we, um, we were sitting on the car watching her with some movies. She got up, she went to the toilet. She came back, about 10 minutes later, I went to the toilet. Now as soon as I walked in that bathroom, I made the first observation, which was the toilet seat was up. <laughs> like, my initial kind of response was, oh my god, this, that's a very thoughtful and charming gesture, isn't it? Like, <laughs> she came in, she sat down and did her stuff, and then returned the toilet seat back into the up position, because that's how it was when she, she found it, you know? And then I thought, nah, nah, this is what really happened. She's walked in, all right, she's walked in, just gone up there and just cocked the old leg and just started pissing while standing up. <laughs> Didn't get a single fucking drop on the floor, mind you. Now I'm jealous as hell because I'm a guy, I've got a dick and I can't even do that. Right, so for a woman, this is groundbreaking, man. This is true skills. This is talent. Well, that's charming. <laughs> I'm Shawnee G. Thank you very much, everybody.